नमस्ते टू ऑल टुडे आल्सो वी विल सी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम द वेबसाइट vedmandir.com द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज मेन बाय दशम द्वार अकॉर्डिंग टू वेदास माय आचार्य जी स्वामी राम स्वरूप जी योगाचार्य आंसर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू अथर्ववेद मंत्र 10 बाय 8 बाय 43 देयर आर ओनली नाइन द्वार्स इन द बॉडी बट बाय द प्रेजेंट संत मत दे टेल आज्ञा चक्र दैट इज द प्लेस बिटवीन द टू आईब्रोस एज द 10th द्वार next question what should be considered while looking for a boy for marriage i am also looking for a better job my acharya ji answers on the matter of marriage the good qualities of boy and good earnings are considered first question of better looking of boy must be minimized secondly better job must be searched for better future but until it is found the present job should never be left next question can we consider devas as positives and rakshasas as negatives and god is the balance of these as such will moving towards balance be punya and whereas moving towards imbalance that is either towards deva or rakshasas is pap am i right my acharya answers ajurveda mantra 40 by 3 states that there are three yonis that means a when a person takes birth it is his ordinary human being yoni which is called as manushya yoni when the person grows up and makes contacts with learned acharya he gets worldly education as well as vedic education that is spiritualism then he becomes a learned dignitary and his birth is stated to be in dev yoni but when he grows up and makes contact with bad society that is against the vedic culture etc then this birth is state to be in devil yoni or rakshasa yoni or asur yoni so in your words it may be stated that dev yoni is a positive yoni and asur yoni is a negative yoni in vedas it is clarified that he who follows the vedas and the vedic truth he does pious deeds otherwise the deeds done are sinful deeds as regards formless almighty god he being omnipresent is the supreme judge to classify us into dev or asur yoni because god awards the result of our good or bad deeds in the shape of happiness and sorrows next question i want to know that you have told the location of soul at left eye throat and heart is mentioned in any authentic scriptures can you name the scripture my acharya answers the existence of soul in the left eye throat and heart is very well mentioned in mandukya upanishad next question namaste swami ji you told several times that we should have materialistic progress and spiritual progress together are there any ved mantras who inspire to do materialistic progress my acharya ji answers namaste ji materialistic progress means only to do pious deeds according to vedas when i use the word materialistic progress often i mention progress in science education etc etc vedas tell in brief about materialistic progress that is bhautik unnati vedas tell to get progress in agriculture aeronautics ship building to get education of politics and its applicability animal husbandry medical sciences botany that is thousands of fields have been mentioned in the vedas in this connection ajurveda mantra 1 by 1 40 by 14 40 by 9 40 by 11 and 40 by 2 also refers next question namaste guru ji i have to ask what is the nature of soul is it always blissful or is it arrogant by nature if it is blissful by nature then why it need of to take body to get another bliss my acharya ji answers nature of soul is chetan it is alive matter it is immortal purest knowledgeable it is a form of pleasure but due to influence of rajagun tamagun and satagun of prakriti that is atma makes contact with prakriti through the five senses and forgets its own said form thus the soul <coughs> thus the soul comes within the bindings of deeds and as a result the soul faces the result of all good and bad deeds of the previous lives and whatever does in the present life will have to be faced in the future births in the form of happiness and sorrow respectively human body is provided by god to listen the vedas and do daily name jap of god agnihotra yajna and a hard practice of ashtanga yoga under the guidance of a learned acharya of vedas and ashtanga yoga while discharging all moral duties towards family society and nation what a beautiful answer Next question Namaste Swami ji I am a great follower of you recently I got married my husband is at good position now whenever 
he appears for interview or for a new he is not successful as a salary negotiation doesn't work please guide my blessings to you my daughter i congratulate and bless you for your marriage you see there is a saying a bird in hand is better than two in bush so till a better service becomes available your husband should not leave the present job we must be satisfied with our current salary however everyone should try to get better prospects and better salary so your husband should always try and apply for to get better job his hard working would give him success one day till such time both of you should be satisfied from the present job because dissatisfaction creates tensions problems etc in the family life which should not be allowed to crop up meanwhile i advise both of you to do daily gayatri mantra jap om jap and also havan with gayatri mantra for information the procedure to do gayatri mantra is very well available in my channel also under the playlist homa yajna you can see gayatri mantra havan procedure in english hindi and tamil and also the meaning of gayatri mantra as explained by my acharya last question for today namaskar swami ji please translate this atharveda mantra om yo bhutam cha bhavyam cha sarva yashcha aditishtati sarvasya cha kevalam tasme jeshtaya brahmane namaha mahi acharya ji answers namaskar ji the almighty god who knows each and every happening of yah bhutam cha that means past that is the time which has passed away cha end of the present times bhavyam cha end of the future times cha yah aditishtati and who is the lord of sarvam all these three lokas the entire universe yasya and whose suha kevalam form is of a pleasure alone tasmay jeshtaya brahmane namaha who is supreme and has all the power he is almighty god we bow and do namaskar to that almighty god the idea of the mantra is we bow before that supreme commander the lord of the universe whose form is of a pleasure one and he is always one what a beautiful answer i hope you understood the answers you can also see the several other question answers i've made so many question answer video uh, under my playlist q and a by my acharya which will give you a very good understanding about vedic sanatan dharma thank you so much namaste om